comical, diverse, and dedicated. If I had to pick three words to describe our robotics team, I would probably say big, loud, and family. So my favorite part about working with the team would probably be when we would all work, work together on Friday nights. Being able to create something out of our own blood, sweat, and tears, and out of our own minds, and bring that idea to life. Every Friday we'd stay late till 10, 11, even sometimes 12 o'clock. And uh, even though we were tired and we wanted to go home at the time, it was always fun working on the robots, trying to troubleshoot and problem solve together as a team. I think my most favorite part of the build season was when we built the habitat outside on the car on the concrete in front of Mr. Davis's classroom, and uh, the chassis had just been finished. The electronics were getting placed on it, and we were, we never saw it drive. So as a team, we all went outside and we put the robot on the second level of the habitat. And then I just told Sabrina, I was like, gunning off the second level of the habitat. I'd say what is most unique about my teammates is that. We're all so diverse. When well, we're sitting at dinner and we're talking about how um, people's family have migrated from the Philippines or from Africa. You know, foods and music, we all like different things, but the fact that we're brought together by this one thing, robotics first, you know, that we all found this one little space of common ground that has become such a huge part of our lives. That's just incredible to me. Mentors have been very important to the success of the team. Most of these mentors are people that don't even have jobs themselves and are probably struggling with school on their own time. And then even during our crazy six week long build schedule, they still come in and they help us out and try to help us figure out what our problems are. They gave me advice on how to present myself when speaking and reviewed our presentation and were there to support us with our photo book. You take the time out and you know to contact us and come to the lab and work with us. Yeah, it's just, you have to be grateful for such a commitment and be appreciative of that. I've known them for a long time since they started from FTC and I coached them personally. So it's been really cool seeing them progress from that to now where we've actually been able to compete at a world-class level. I was actually really impressed with how our team did and how our robot did at our competitions this year. So when we won the Engineering Inspiration Award, I was like, oh man, I really hope we get this, I really hope we get this. I was in shock when we won. I really couldn't believe what was going on. And we got it. Oh my gosh. The team started going off and I'm like, yes! <laughs> and I was like, yes, we're going to Worlds again. And I wasn't at all surprised when we qualified for Worlds because I know that we all put in hours and hours of work and we all definitely earned our seat there. And we were just so excited. We were going down the stairs, people were crying. It probably didn't hit me until later that night that we had even qualified for home calls again. I was just so excited. I didn't understand. Spreading STEM in the community and, you know, really bringing first to the community, you know, pays off and it's recognized. It's not uncommon for a, um, a younger child to uh, say to one of my students, you know, when I grow up, I want to be like you. This is why we do this. We do this so that students can have this opportunity. First to me is all about inspiration. First is opportunity. To me, first is impact. Family. First is fun. First is educational. First shows us who we are.